Hi, Cameron here from DroneLine Australia. Today we're going to be looking at working with multispectral data in PIX4D in order to create an NDVI map and then either export that as a PDF or put it in other file formats that we can pass on to other programs. So the first thing we're going to do when we open up PIX4D fields is create ourselves a new project. Um, it's good practice to name it straight away up here. So the data we're going to work with is a cornfield today. Save that there. Next, we want to import the images from the drone. So it's this section here, and you'll almost always be using the folder. We've got two folders here, so we can select the higher level folder, hit import, and you have two options here. You have TIFF and JPEG. JPEG's going to be your RGB images. Um, what we're after is the TIFF images, and these are all of our multispectral images. So we're just going to select that there and wait for it to import it all in. Now that's loaded, we're greeted with this screen here. So the first one in our processing options is fast or accurate. It's pretty much what it says, but accurate is going to be the best results possible. So we're going to select that one. Weather conditions during capture, we were flying under a clear sky, but conversely, if you were doing it on an overcast day, you'd select that. And resolution, we're just going to leave that at full. So after that, we hit apply. Now, all these blue dots here, that's every single photo that's been taken in the flight. It's good just to cast your eye over and make sure that no data has been missed, say if we were missing a chunk here. But that all looks good to go. So I'm going to hit start processing and wait it out. All right, now that that's finished processing, we've got this map here, which is our ortho mosaic. It has, looks a bit funny, and that's because we've processed the TIFF multispectral imagery. So first thing we're going to do is create a boundary around our field. So go into boundaries here, little one up here, and that one here. And we're just going to move around the entire field and cut out, leaving just a little bit of a buffer zone, but not too much waste and excess. Great, now that we've done mapping out our boundary, we're going to hit the little tick mark here and we'll give that a name. Next, we want to trim the map that we've already got just so it's a bit neater and easier to work with. So this little scissors icon over here. Now that that's processed, you can see this was our original map and that's what it's trimmed it down to. Next, we're going to exit our boundary mode and we're going to enter into indexes. Now you can create all types of different indexes here as well as custom ones, but today we're just going to work with NDVI. So click that check mark there, hit generate. Great, now that that one's processed, we can actually see the NDVI map that's being created. First thing I'll draw your attention to is the visual section. Um, you can normally leave this on red green, but these are other options, say if someone's colorblind or if you want to represent it visually in a different way. The next way to really work with this is to adjust the histogram. So what the histogram is, it's not changing the underlying data itself, but it's changing how that data is represented. So the low points and the high points. And you do that by just moving this slider here and you'll see it starts to cut out all of the data that we don't need. If you zoom in, you can start to see which plants are doing well and which aren't. So what we have here is the NDVI values of the crop of corn. Essentially what NDVI is, it shows how much chlorophyll is in the plants. The healthier ones that are doing better are going to have more chlorophyll present and the ones that aren't doing so well are going to have less of that present. And in our particular visualisation here, we've got red as 
plants not doing so well, having less chlorophyll, and green as the ones that are doing better. So after we got that NDVI map, we can move back into our ortho mosaic. So this is our unclipped one, so it shows our full extent and creates some obstacles. So this is particularly useful if you're going to do spreading or spraying with like the T50, and then it'll know what to avoid when it comes to it. So we're in our full scale ortho mosaic. We are going to hit here and then obstacle. And you can see these trees here are overlapping the field that we're going to spray. So all I need to do is just select this and then mark out with a tiny bit of a buffer zone just in case around our trees and we can name them if we want. I'm just going to call it obstacle and just go around the field and do that for any of the relevant ones. So on your right hand side here, you can see it encapsulates both your boundary and also all of the individual obstacles. If you've got any other shape files, so maybe you've mapped it with a different software like QGIS, you can import it here as a shape file as well. So after we're all done with that, we can hit export. The first one I'm going to show you is a PDF report. So we can choose to export our NDVI map as well as our ortho mosaic. And this is the one just trimmed at the boundary. So now that that's finished, it's exported us a nice little PDF. So this is something you could send to your agronomist or the farmer. It shows our ortho mosaic here, as well as the NDVI map. And what's really important is that you retain the histogram and the legend for it, because that's gonna be particular to how you read and interpret the data. The second way we can do it is exporting our layers. So let's select NDVI again. And this gives you the option to export it to another program like QGIS or other ways of working with the data. We have the top one that simply exports almost like a screenshot where all the data's already baked in. The other option is the data.tiff and this gives you your actual raw data. That's the lossless uncompressed version that's you have your RG and B band separately. That allows you to bring it into a program like QGIS where you can then reclassify the data and do similar to how we were changing the histogram before but do it in a bit more powerful program or tweak it to whatever you need. So you'd hit export here. The other thing I want to show you for exporting that's sometimes helpful is your boundaries. So we can export the boundaries and the obstacles by clicking these check marks here. The one you're probably familiar with is a shapefile. So that again can go into another program like QGIS, but it can also be imported into other drones if you want to set up a boundary for a flight plan or into smart tractors where you can define where it will drive and where it won't drive. So there you go. That's how to work with multispectral data in PIX4D fields in order to generate NDVI indexes. If you're looking for more information, you can find us on our website, droneland.au.